So here's what it was before. And there it is now. All right, nice day. So, Wayne's watching Hallmark. I am getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go to Home Depot to meet my cousin Kenneth, cause we are, sorry, my eyes have been bad. We are building a deck on our back porch. This will have us a hot tub, a TV, whole little entertainment area. And so I'm gonna go to Home Depot. I'm gonna put the order in. And then in a few days, we'll have some deliveries from Home Depot. And then a couple days after that, Amanda's dad, Amanda, myself, and Amanda's uncle are gonna put this deck together. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com. And let's check out our new back deck. Well, I know what we need. Let's get it. Stop number one, the Home Depot is fulfilled. This huge list here is all of our deck materials. Everything's been everything's been ordered. Special thanks to Kenneth. I'm really glad I came here because their system is so weird that even though my zip code is in Rockmart, which is on like one side of Georgia, this order was going to get filled out of like Lithonia, which is the total opposite side of where I live. It's just apparently how Home Depot's system works. But luckily, Kenneth had a really nice lady here who knew what she was doing, and she's going to stay on top of it to make sure it actually gets delivered Friday. So the deck materials have been ordered. Wow, this is crazy. I don't think all this is ours though. So I think he's gonna get our stuff off, put it here, and then some of that's going somewhere else. That's why we're gonna turn this fence into a gate so we can easily bring the wood through and then this will be our gate. Lots to do, this will be fun. No lie, from here I can smell the Home Depot smell. We have to know how to drive an 18 wheeler in this. This guy should make like 30 bucks an hour. Pallet number one, pallet number two. Pallet number four here. So everything's checked out, 153 pieces of wood, ready to build our back deck. So here's what it was before. Let's uh, build this deck. Yeah, we have a gate. I dug out all these posts. Now we're gonna get these concreted in. Turn it sideways like that. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got a handle for this and hold this because it's going to try to. Okay. Ooh, is that okay for the wood? Yeah. You want oh, yeah. It, you want it. We want to count it. You did great. Right. And all of this rain kind of killed day two. Look at that neighbor's yard. Wow. You like it already. Huh? I love it already. <laughs> Come on, buddy and Zappy. Let's go walk on the deck for the first time. Oh, yeah. Hey, come here. Oh. <laughs> Say hi to your deck, Zappy. Zappy, it's not going to get you. Yeah. So we got this part completed today. No, those are not staying. But uh, we would have gotten a bit more done. But all of the rain kind of healed us. It's just got to get screwed in. This is all just sitting here. So that way we had a way for the dogs to get out and stuff somewhere. tonight. All right. On to the next day. On to day three. And a few seconds later, Buddy has officially made the deck dirty. Already. So to recap, day one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six posts in the ground. We also uh, fixed our fence so we have a bigger gate over here. And then for day two, we ended up getting this board mounted with super long screws all the way along the wall, as well as one here, and then the boards along here. Now we did get about five of the uh, other boards across, 
where we could lay these on top, but these are not staying. This was just temporary, so we could have a deck, kind of. Today's goal before people arrive, we've got to mount these every 16 inches. So we've got five on this one. We've got about 35 to go. So we're going to a crazy storm that knocked over the ladder. So we're going to come out here. We're going to get these mounted and uh, then be able to throw these slats in there and then put on our deck boards and our deck will be done. Then we'll have to start on the roofing part. Still a lot to do. It's coming along. Got all of those in. Digging some trenches for this last bit here. All right, so we're fully framed out. The ending part's where our storage units go in, so it's separate. So we're about to start actually putting and drilling in all the boards. Looks like we'll get a break about 6.30. Another heavily rain-delayed day. Getting the remaining wood inside. All right, so carrying in the remaining bit of wood. Hi, McLean. Uh, today we had like a family thing to go to, so uh, the deck did not get touched today. But we're getting the wood over to where it needs to be. Another shipment's arriving tomorrow. I'll, I'll explain that. Uh, I'll explain that in a moment. Fun, fun day. But yeah, let me explain you the second uh, shipment. So it's the following day. It's now Wednesday, August 9th. Basically, here's what happened. I was given a list of products to buy from Amanda's dad. I gave that list to my cousin. My cousin gave that list to the wood like people at Home Depot who instead of just, you know, typing in two by four by six, had to do everything by SKU numbers. So somewhere in that process, 20 of the boards uh, were not ordered. We needed 40 16 foot boards. We only got 20. I sadly didn't notice it. It's not my cousin's fault. I, I blame the other guy. So today, Home Depot is bringing those 20 boards that I've purchased, as well as the roofing uh, to cover our deck. So uh, that's the story of us having to go back to Home Depot and buy more stuff because I didn't notice that the correct number was on the uh, order sheet. Let's uh, let's get this delivery from Home Depot. More wood is here. Pallet number one. I think this is the 12 foot boards and some of the roofing. This is my last time walking through the gate and stepping in this area. Storage deck will be in soon. Gotta show this. Home Depot sent this piece of wood with these like gashes in it. 12 foot piece of wood. What in the world? Turn them together. This side is almost completed. Just a few more boards to put in. It's there, my queen. Full deck. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all over the boards. Aw. It's basically here. Like I said, just a few more to nail in and finish what's down there. And then start on the covering. That's That'll be the fun part. The last piece. <laughs> Had to buy another box of screws so that uh, we could screw in our deck. The entire deck is actually in. All of these boards have been screwed in, but not all of the screws are in. And as you might be able to see, we've started on the covering. Tomorrow we'll finish this and we'll get these metal roof shingles on. And then this side is where our like storage shed will be built. That's when we put the things opposite. Technically it's 50 feet from here all the way to the other side. Hi, my queen. But we're gonna start uh, screwing some boards in at the end of, is this day three, day four? Day four. Boy, you kept on yesterday three. Yeah. yeah, today's day four, so. All right, let's screw some boards in. So it's starting to rain. We made it to this post with every line getting screws. We're gonna try to finish the rest tomorrow. This will be the last time this gets a sunrise and the last time this gets any rain. The following day, we have put in all 400 and something screws that we bought, drying out the chairs. We need about uh, 150 ish more. 200 ish? 200 ish. So uh, then we'll have the whole deck screwed down. Soon we're going to start on this today, get this metal roof on, and uh, then this thing will be. <laughs> completely covered. Roof joists are in. And here we are, 
day five. We have almost everything in for the roof. As you can see over here, we got about five of the panels on, mounted. This is where the TV's gonna go. Right now we just have all of our uh, junk here basically because it's shaded of course, but it's all coming together. Tomorrow, which I think will technically be day six, we will uh, we will have this completed. There's only three, six, nine cross beams to add here and then the rest of the roof and uh, then, then we're done. So it's really coming together. Tomorrow should be it. The roofing's going on. Day six, and tomorrow should all be done. The last roof panel is going up. All right, all the screws are in. Personally, I think it's really, really peaceful. What do you think, babe? Oh, it already got quiet. This is really a downpour. We've been sitting out here like two or three hours. Just enjoying it. <laughs> there we go. I swear it's so peaceful. And there it is now. We have completed our 40 foot, well really 50 foot if you include where we're putting the storage over here, but 40 foot porch deck. Now, as you can see, everything's installed, but we're not 100% done. We still have some electrical to run up here. We're gonna put two outlets down here, one for a TV, and then a second one for a fan and a bug zapper. And then in the middle, we're gonna have another two outlets. This will be for a heater and probably a bug zapper as well. And then at the end over here, we'll have two more outlets up here. We've got to put lights up here. Right now we're just using the floodlight that's on the side, but we're going to have three lights put out here. We're going to do all that in about a month when Amanda's dad comes back. Two of the last pieces will be this 10 by 10 that is raised up a little bit is going to be turned into a storage shed. So we're going to box it all in, make a storage shed, which will kind of separate that from this beautiful 40 foot deck where that eventually where that probably in december maybe january because we might be in vegas in december we will have a hot tub right here so that's the whole plan besides the privacy fence so we do plan to uh, add panels to make this to make this a full privacy fence since we'll have a nice hot tub back here this is it a 50 foot deck that we helped install amanda's dad and uncle did most of the work but we definitely helped out i dug all these posts up drilled in a ton of screws look at all these screws you can see there's like a line here and another line there another line there there's like five lines with two screws on each board and there's like 20 boards across to make it 10 feet i think we used over 2,000 screws if i'm not mistaken it technically took us five days i would say but really kind of six a lot of that was to do with the weather though at the end of the day though we put a lot of time and energy into this and we cannot wait to enjoy it get our hot tub next summer we'll be able to uh, have gatherings and have an awning have cookouts it's going to be great so this is a nice big extension to uh where i can make content at now thank you all for watching click like click subscribe indulge in your life and indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we'll see you in the next one deuces